Welcome back to another video everyone. In this video I'm going to show you, as you can probably guess, how to make fog in a similar way to what you just saw in Hell on Earth. Now what we have here on the left is the code, and this is the code for the Exaltia map. And as you can see we're at Encounter 1, where there's uh, three zombies, the first demons you come across. And on the right we have the planning which is pretty simple because there's not that much to making fog. It is pretty easy actually. Uh, just the name of the fog entity and we're going to put the coordinates in there. So what I'm doing first is I'm making a bookmark in the code so that I can find the fog more easily. I'm going to be putting the fog uh, just above the first encounter and actually fog doesn't have to be encounter dependent like it, it could be anywhere in the code but I like to put it close to the encounter uh, that the fog will be near to just makes it easier for me to follow when I'm coding so now I'm gonna go off into Exaltia to get the coordinates so I'm thinking that I'll put the fog in in with the zombies just got the coordinates now I'm gonna paste them into my notes don't need the orientation information I'm making it a bit higher I'm changing the Z coordinate to be a bit of a higher value because the fog seems to work better that way you make the fog a little bit higher and then it shows up more easily right now I'm just going to get the code for the fog and I found this code in the Supergore Nest Master Level, because after all, that's the most iconic time when you see the fog. And I copied it and put it in my bookmarks text, and I'll give this code in the description below as useful code text. So I'm just going in there, copying that, go back into Exaltia, paste it in, change the title, As you can see, the fog itself is actually a light. It's a specific kind of light. And there's the position. We replace that. This stuff down here, bind info, bind parent. This is actually to do with making the fog come in gradually or come in according to something that happens like what happens in the Supergornest master level, you know, when you enter the arena, the fog slowly creeps in. I don't want to do that though, I just want to add in the fog, have it in there by default, so I can delete this. When you're doing that though, make sure that you get rid of the brackets. Uh, don't leave one bracket behind, because that will make the game crash. Delete that. So, something interesting to note here is the light type light scattering. That seems to be the kind of light that makes fog. And here we also have light radius. This determines how far the fog reaches, like according to x, y, and z axes. Z is height, like uh, how high or how low will the fog stretch to. Y and x, well depending on your angle, they're either left and right or front and back. So I'm going to change these values to be something a bit easier to work with, uh, fewer decimal points. Just make it 30 for now, just to see if it works. Density, how dense do you want your fog? One will be very dense. Sometimes you'll see in code, start off equals true. As you'd expect, that th this means uh, that the fog won't be active by default. Instead it has to be activated somehow. Like I said, I don't want that to happen. I want it to be on by default, so I'm going to change that to false. And that's it. Let's save it. MH force reload and test it out. That looks like fog to me. Yep, pretty dense fog as well. You can see the fog is a little bit too broad. It's uh, going outside of the room, but it's pretty dense enough. <laughs> you can see it doesn't stretch everywhere, because now I've exited the fog. That's pretty cool lighting effects, though. 
All right, so I want to demonstrate the differences that the radius and the density make. So I'm going to change the radius, make it something really small so that you can notice the difference. Let's go back and have a look. Yeah, you can see now that the fog is not stretching outside of the building. It's just inside. It's also pretty small. It's kind of like a cloud instead. So now I've changed the radius to 50, so it's going to be really big again and going outside the building. And I'm changing the density to 1, and well I'm just showing you this to show you the difference in density, what it looks like. So this is going to be really dense and a really broad area as well. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of fog. <laughs> And see how dense it can get. I, uh, I almost fall off the cliff here because I don't even see it. So I'm going to go back now and change the density to something much smaller. Uh, 0.05. That uh, should be just a little bit of fog, kind of misty, I think. And there you have it. Just a bit misty. Quite a bit different to what it was before. And that's how you do fog. Bye.